Boom! Oh, <laughs> I love that intro that no one else. Is she ever on? Us. No, I wish we could hear that voice because that would be a funny way to start the whole thing. Welcome to the week three review, Bone Storm. Oh, and what a week it was. Oh, heartbreaking for many people. Myself included. This man on the right, Justin Tucker. How I hate thee, but I had to put him up there for you, Jason, because you love him so much. <laughs> and he made the 66 yard field goal, even though they should have been five yards back after that delay of game penalty that no one apparently wanted to call from Detroit. And Aaron Rodgers, again, leave him a few minutes. He comes back and rips San Francisco's heart out on Sunday night. It was a week of craziness. Um, and yes, there were also the personal battles of the fantasy football uh, uh, places. Uh, as well, but I don't think anything came as close as some of these games. We didn't have any games that came down to a couple of points, but there were some that were only separated by 10, and I think yours was one of them, Mr. Heat. So let's get into week one, unless you wanted to talk about the... Um... No, we can go to... It's not week one, it's week three. Sorry, week three. I don't know. I, I, matchup one is what I meant. Okay. Okay. Here we go. We've got the halfback Musca Mustangs, who score a big one, basically 180 points to my 164, which I'd like to point out would beat about just every other team <laughs> in the stupid league, including you, but it wasn't enough to take down the Mustangs. I suffer my first loss. He gets 41 and a half from Stafford and 27 from his defense. How am I going to compete with that? Yeah, I tried to with Adams with 33.2 and Hertz at 24 and a half, but uh, just not enough. Yeah, not enough. Uh, and uh, again, it doesn't matter what you score. It's what you score in your matchup against who, because yeah, all I you need to do is outscore your person. And yes, you're right. You would have beaten mostly. There's another person coming up with the same thing later in this uh, broadcast. But be that as it may, like you said, Maddie Stafford had a big day uh, going up against Tampa Bay, which was an it was a very interesting game because I think a lot of people thought it would be a good matchup, but I think they all thought Tampa Bay would somehow eke it out. But look at Los Angeles. They are for real, and uh, Matt Stafford slinging it there. I also had a good day by Aaron Jones and Adam Thielen. Again, not as big as some of the other ones, but uh, yeah, then that defense pitched in a shutout. There have been a couple of those, I think, in the last two weeks that uh, that were big. And then your poor defense gets you a measly .04. That's really yeah, that, nice, right? That's a big gaping hole in your lineup. I mean, you could have on a gaping started hole. Nobody. Now I picked the number one defense coming into the no, season. No, I'm saying their performance, not what yeah, their performance getting. sucks. Exactly. I have Let's to put move the on Ravens to a happier in. one. Yeah, you should have came to the Ravens. I might have to start them now. <laughs> okay, who do we got? Oh, you know who. Oh, it's you. Okay, yes. we've got Hail Satan wins with a measly 154. <laughs> However, that was plenty to take down Johnny in his 115. Johnny, Patrick Mahomes looking very pedestrian at uh, 27, and Cole Beasley with almost 21. However, Hail Satan uh, starts Satan himself, who gets him <laughs> 33.68, and you got Mike Evans over there for 20 and a half, and Mattison. The backup who you uh, quietly traded for to secure your uh, team up because you're the mash unit you got going on. Uh, but you win somehow. <laughs> somehow I find a way to win because Satan always does. Yes, the rest yeah. of my team was quite anemic, but I had it where it counted. Uh, unfortunately, Johnny's team did not come to play that day. They had a rough uh, go around for most of his players, but I'm sure that won't last for him. Uh, and yes, thank goodness that trade went down because Madison stepped in perfectly for an out. Dalvin Cook, who was questionable right up until game time. And so that was nice to be able to plug him in. And uh, he ripped off way more than I expected. So very happy with that. Uh, good matchup. Uh, good, better luck next week, Johnny. Let's go on to the next one. Oh, this will be good yeah. for your household. Yes. <clears throat> yeah. The um, I was going to say the uh, that Kansas City game was wild. That was oh, great. right. Again, yeah, that lots one. of big Finally. upsets in these first few weeks of teams that should normally have handled the other one. And so I think it's kind of wide open in the AFC for sure. Okay, we've got the Malibu Stacys who scores one fifty two. And if you look at her top scores. B. Cooks being uh, 22.7 and Kyler Murray with a measly 19.54. That means she got a lot of uh, uh, con contributions from everybody on her team to get the win over the Wild Poopers. Don keeps her zero. Uh, Kat loses uh, her uh, uh, undefeated record, but that's mm -hmm. okay. She had plenty from Ryan Tannehill at almost 27. And is that Derrick Henry for 21 yep. and a half? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She had a good day from Kittle and, uh, and, and, and Clyde Edwards-Alaire as well. 
but yeah, not enough to overcome. They both kind of had lower scores than they have in the past. They've both been pushing 180 to 200 those first few weeks. So they foots off the gas a little bit, but Don had enough in the tank to uh, take down uh, the end. This, this, I think this was a battle of the undefeateds, right? So that was kind of a cool Well, not only that, see. but th this matchup and mine with uh, Clemens were both the division Divisionals? matchups. Oh, yeah. those are big deals. That's a you big know? deal. Yes. So those are ones you need to win to get to the end. All right, let's move on to the next matchup with Todd. Okay, Todd, congratulations, buddy. I like to think I help you here. Uh, the Punishment <laughs> Due secures their first victory, a 137.27 against, uh, that's Greg, right? Love Hugs yep. and Ice Cream, 121.76. Mm -hmm. Kareem Hunt getting you 27 and a half. And the brand new Punishment Due, Dak Prescott, uh, comes in at a very healthy 26 uh, plus points. Uh, yeah, yeah. For Greg, he had uh, Jay Robinson for 25 and a half and Aaron Rodgers at 23. Barkley, you, only 21. That sucks. Do you even know who James Robinson is or what team he plays for? Uh, yeah, he Don't plays look. for the Jaguars. <laughs> you just looked, you cheater. I <laughs> didn't. It doesn't say. I can show you on my screen. <laughs> okay, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> anyway, yes, congrats to Todd. He makes the trade. He gets the win. The exact opposite of Mr. Kev. Thanks to Dak Prescott. Very nicely done there. Um, good day against uh, a worthy opponent. But Greg, I have a very interesting question for. I don't think you noticed this, uh, Mr. Heath, but Greg did not even start a kicker. Yeah, what, we saw that. Yeah, we what, saw that. What, what's up with that? Why? What was the reason he didn't? And I, did you I send question. him a text in the morning letting him know? I didn't know. That's Todd's role for certain people. <laughs> Not for everybody, apparently, not for Greg. Um, but I did notice that. Actually, I noticed that Sunday, and I thought, well, he'll fix that and get somebody for Monday night. Maybe he waited too long, in. and you can't. If you wait or, too long, you don't have one on your bench, you're, you're effed anyway. Wait, so you can't pause, so, so you can't do that even if you miss on Sunday? You can't add somebody Monday? It's, it's all frozen until Wednesday? It may be. I don't know. I can't I remember. believe so. I think you can pick some people up on no, maybe you can pick people up on Sunday, but not Monday. I'm sure Jay or Todd well, will correct me. But because Don put in for... We'll talk about that later for okay. her guy before Sunday. And it says it wasn't going to go through until, you know, Wednesday. Right. But that's because they were already playing. My point is, if you were trying to add somebody on the Monday night game, oh, that I don't after know. the Sunday ones have started, I don't, I don't know. Somebody will tell us. Let's move yeah. on to the next one. Okay. The Karen from Roseville versus. Uh... Well, he's changed his name, just so you know. He is now Fleas Wood Umstock uh, against. The... Yeah. Well, this is the one against the Braille Bombers, right? Mm, no there's oh god there's two okay which game are we talking about is this the one this that, is the one this is jason versus i can't see because i'm sharing so my slide is two it's whoever has josh allen antonio gibson okay that's terry gentlemen for quarterly thank you i feel very bad for terry this week because she uh, this put is one of the examples yes a look, at the huge score. Score. look at the score 185 come yes. on now that Can't should win. have been Can't 20. Win. Allen gets her 47. The defense gets her 27. Mm -hmm. She's got contributions everywhere, but she happens to go up against Jason, whose team name is now Flea's Gyrating Dong, was able to score 192 and a half with plenty of productions from Williams, 35, Harris, 31, and Cooper Cup having quietly a well not quietly well not quietly going off year. man 30 points plus yeah what is up with uh, jason's new name and i hope it's not flea from the band red hot chili peppers because i don't want to see that sock going anywhere um uh, it's jamar chase jamar chase uh, just slaughtered the steelers on sunday with 23 points thank you terry that didn't help uh and cordero patterson uh mike davis's backup shows him off again with another 17 which was very nice um, and, and yeah, but you just can't touch Jason when he's, when he's on fire. I mean, Najee gets him 30 in that loss. He had some big scores and yeah, it stinks when you put up a huge score and also you look over and the person next to you is just a hair ahead of you. That's very frustrating, Terry, but, but, but you should be happy. Hopefully your guys can keep up that scoring run and not everybody's going to, you're not going to face Jason every week. Thank goodness. Yeah. Now keep it, stay in it. Everybody's still in this. Exactly. Next okay, up. And then finally we've got fleas wood, um, stock. No, uh, dude, James, this is Braille Bombers versus the Joe. This is my mom versus name. Joe. He changed his name. Meanie Haunches changed his name? Yes, it now says Fleas. That's Fleas, the fleas Wood, flopping? Um, stock. No, there's two. Jason's Two people is, change their name to Flea? Yes. Oh Jason changed it to Fleas Gyrating Dong. And Joe changed it to Fleas Wood um, Stock. 
You uh, guys, you, you know, those guys must be up on something social media wise that you and I obviously have missed out on because there's something going on out there. And now I'm very curious about it. Are, well, their logos, uh, Joe's is a uh, eggplant, of course. <laughs> And Jason <laughs> looks like it's just a wiener, like oh, a hot dog wiener. <laughs> At any rate, uh, whoever you want to call them, they were able to put a severe beating. Poor Mama, oh, over a hundred points. Uh, he scores two oh nine oh four against Braille Bombers one oh six. Braille uh, had a very average day from her guys, unfortunately. Average, Russell the low Wilson average, for 18, dude. Yeah. Claypool, well, Claypool's going to get 18. Connor's going to get 18. Those are average scores. Maybe not for Russell Wilson. No. He should have had more. However, yeah. on uh, uh, Joe's side, yes. plenty of production. Mm -hmm. Herbert, almost 39. Jefferson, almost 29. Zeke, almost 27. And then I'm sure the list goes on because he got 209 and that only accounts for about 80 points there. Yeah. Yeah. Mike Gusecki and uh, Chris Godwin had big days for Joe. It was a good day. And yeah, I, it's, it's, I mean, mom had a horrible score, certainly not one that's uh, worthy of beating anybody unless it's somebody on a horrible day, but then Joe to come back with a 200 burger. That's, uh, that's going to beat everybody this week. Uh, that beats every other team this week. So he had an outstanding day. Like you said, that Kansas city, um, San Diego or is not San Diego, whatever LA game was, yeah. was a good one. And Justin was just slinging in that one. So congrats to Joe. Sorry for mama. Let's see if you can bounce back from that. Let's get to the standings. Miss your Heath. Okay. Stand by. Standing by. All right. We have got, Oh, we, this is exciting. We've got Brockway still all alone out front. Even, uh, yeah, she's undefeated. The last undefeated team in that division, three and zero, the Malibu Stacy's. Followed in second place, uh, holding steady two and one in second. Johnny, you got to get on the stick and uh, get your first win here. He's at 0 and 3. Yeah. Oh, over to Ogdenville, we've got Hail Satan, another undefeated team. Not sure how, he just gets good matchups, I guess. <laughs> Punishment due, moving up a spot, gets his first win. One and two. Yeah, and I blame three. you. That should be 0 and 3 for both those guys, but not for your trade. <laughs> See, you gotta make trades, people. It helps. That's good, that was love good. hug didn't help me, but help Todd, and that's fine. I wouldn't want anyway. Uh, love hugs and ice cream. Uh, oh, and three, another guy who's got to get a win. Uh, that's, uh, that's three... last year's reigning champion starting out oh, and three. He's on the uh, well, we've got some more oh, and threes. We'll get yep. to it. Let's go to North Haverbrook. Karen from Roseville, another undefeated team. So, uh, there are now only three. Uh, and then three winless teams. So you guys mm -hmm. got to spread the wealth around. Uh, too big of a gap between uh, uh, bottom and the top. Uh, wage gap difference. Oh, equity is what you'd like in this uh, league. Yes, yes. Sorry, oh. do better. Okay, Karen, <laughs> Karen from Roseville, three and zero, oh, leading by two games over the Braille Bombers, one and two. And you got gentlemen's four quarterlies. Who, Terry? I know it's zero and three. You should have won this one. Uh, mm -hmm. So I think they're going to be turning around and you're really only one game out of second place. Exactly. So let's go. Finally, Springfield, the cream of the crop, a game where a division where nobody can get the undefeated. <laughs> and we've all won at least one. We've got the halfback must get Mustangs who beat me a division game. He's at two and one. one. I am also at two and one. And in third place, we've got meaty haunches. However, they have changed their name to fleas. Um, stop. <laughs> <laughs> all right now let's standing. move on to let's move on to the big the big talk of the day and oh my gosh i can't believe it was that much so the big race of the day was to chuba but i wish his name was chuba because chuba hubbard sounds so much cooler than chuba hubbard but whatever so poor cmc goes down last week everybody immediately thinks about chuba don tries to play me off in the you worry about your team i'll worry about my team i'm like oh yeah. that's i was asking yeah. you gonna get your guy but of course, I had to put my toe in the water to see if I might be able to I'm make sure it out you from did. Under. So let's go through the list. How many people put up for him? One, two, three, four. I was, of course, the lowest at 23 because I'm cheap. You're right. Then Karen from Roseville at 59. Not good enough. Don thinks 65. No one can beat me. And Todd comes over the top with $76. Oh, my wow. God. Will this be a year that Todd runs out again? Will yet to be determined. To be determined. Um, now, what's going to be interesting is how long CMC's out. Because, obviously, if he's out for a long time, as he was last year, Mike Davis had a really good year as his backup and Chuba could do the same thing. They're saying three weeks is what but they're That's what right I was going to say. Yeah. They haven't placed him on IR. He could yeah. be back earlier. So she might get him back and it might be a big, you know, non-starter that Chuba gets a couple of uh, wins, but Hey, maybe Todd's willing to pay for that. Just get a couple of W's in between time. Um, 
The only other one out there that was a debate was the Bengals or the Bungles. Looks like Karen from Roseville outbid somebody by three dollars to get Todd. them. Uh, yeah, I, I'll bid Todd, and then the rest of them were all, I think, undisputed. I didn't see any other double ups there. So um, look at you again bidding zero dollars. God, you are cheap. You are cheap. If I can get it for zero, I'll just Ooh, take twenty-three it. I'll dollars. Just take it. Yeah, I'll just zero. Take it. Exactly. Hey, why am I spending money if I don't need to? That was one of the be- most beautiful things somebody ever came up with. Was the hey, we don't have to bid even a dollar. Let's just go with zero. I'm like perfect. <laughs> right up my alley. All right, now I'm going to stop sharing my screen. Well, hopefully, Royce to Freeman is going to be the uh, lynch uh, to your. Uh, hey, he's a uh, what the heck flex, as they say. Season. You never know; he might. Mr. Step Seth in. Tomer's at it again. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, and now you want me to share, right? You're going to share your matchup for Week Four, yes, sir. Okay, let me share. That's what we move to now. Give me a second. And no one has gotten back to me about a get together or an anything. Please do that if anybody's watching. Otherwise, I'm just gonna uh, send a message out on the text line on Sunday to say, "Hey, who's thinking about it? Who wants to do what?" Blah 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 blah. Okay, I'm gonna move this guy up there once you open it up. We're still we're still digging. We're still digging. Oh, okay, yeah, stop right there. Whoa, 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 too much, too much. Right there's perfect. Okay. Boy, effect. Okay, I can see everything. Okay, so we have... Now, again, another stellar. I know it's not Jay's fault, but we've got a, a oh, rematch. A rematch after two weeks. This is Jason's after schedule. One week. this is, yes, yeah. exactly. And he'll say, it's ESPN, not me. Tell that to Flea. Now, All one right, thing so I rematch. Got, well, yeah, one thing I got going for me as of right now is a bunch of questionables on one, two, three, four. On mm-hmm. the halfback Mustangs right now, my guys pretty much looking healthy. Uh, they expect me to avenge my loss from uh, last weekend. What's got me? Ooh, 170. They like me. I like, I like me. you a lot. Exactly. 170 to uh, Kev's 160. That would be kind of fun if we split uh, our division matchups for the year. Yeah, it still looks like a close matchup. Again, they're predicting another another one that comes down just a couple of points. We'll see how Jalen Hurts bounces back. Ooh, against Kansas City. That's going to be not an easy task, I'm sure. Uh, this will be a good matchup. The um, Chargers versus the uh, uh, Raiders, since the Raiders are playing so well. And then you got Chris Carson, San Francisco. That's a division game. That's always a big game. On the other side, you got Jonathan Taylor going to Miami, who has a decent defense, but they did a lot of Naeem Hines last week. We'll see if Jonathan Taylor gets the rock. And then, oh, sweet Jesus, Pittsburgh and Green Bay. This is where we shut down Aaron Jones. You just watch. We're going to shock the world and beat Green Bay, even though we lost the last two. So oh, yeah, you, you did great against the Browns. Was it the Browns or who No, was the it? Bengals. It was worse. The, Bengals. the Bengals. Yeah. Um, the let's see if Tyler Lockett, who was injured last week, plays because, hey, don't move that. You got to go back up. Sorry. That's too far. Okay. Stop. Sorry. Get your hands off the keyboard, dude. Sorry. I was Easy, Jeffrey Tubin. I know what you were trying to do, Jeffrey Tubin. So, uh, oh, and uh, he has Elijah Mitchell in there. That's why Trey Sermon was taking a hit on my bench. Okay, so this should be a good matchup. Uh, like you said, should be a close one. I give the edge to Kevin because he's looking for revenge. Let's go to the next one. Hey, Get thank it? you. Kev, but there's no Kev because you're both Kev. See how smart? I'm smart, not like everybody says. Yeah, that's great. Okay, let's go Springfield. to Springfield United against the Wild Poopers. Okay, ooh, they think this one's going to be close. Does that look good to you? <laughs> That's perfect. That's okay. Poifect. We've got Springfield United. They think it's going to get 134 against the Wild Poopers, 138. This one could be tight. Cat's got ooh, some problems down below under tight end running back or so some flex issues. That's okay. And then she may have to get a tight end. We'll see. Well, yeah, James Jordan White Hill. out. Yeah, yeah, she's going to have Johnny's to move some team people around. completely healthy. It just can't manage to pull it out for him. Johnny. Let's get going. Uh, still has them down a little bit, but make some trades. Make something happen. Get on the uh, – we haven't seen a Springfield United name show up on the waiver wire either. No, we haven't. So maybe Let's make just, it happen. Maybe he's planning his, his revenge. It's tough because he has two guys from Atlanta that are supposed to be lighting the world on fire, Calvin Ridley and Kyle Pitts. And so far, Atlanta's kind of been lackluster. Let's see if this is a get-right game for them or they do anything. Meanwhile, you got Patrick Mahomes looking for revenge after that, uh, that last-minute loss to um, – uh, you know, he had Chargers. a couple of chances to win that thing. Yeah, I know they did. I know, and they just let it go. Yeah. Uh, on the other side, 
you got oh she's putting all her 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 money on the Tennessee game with Tannehill and Henry she's got that duo going uh we'll see if George Kittle and Sterling Shepard start for her again I know they only give her uh, what 138 but her average is 160 and she scored more than that most weeks she's scoring you know somewhere in the 180 to 200 (laughs) range so right. I have a hard time believing this one, but who knows? This might be Johnny's week to, to, to win one. I know Kat's probably mad from last week with her first loss to Don. She's looking to get right. Going to be hard to stop her this week, but uh, I'll give the, uh, the edge to Johnny in a wild card win. Next up. Okay. All right. Next up. Let's do Malibu Stacy's. Oh, against oh, Hail Satan. Yeah. Oh my God. Look at the projected score. Oh, 157.9 to 157.8. This to me is the game of the week. I haven't looked at the rest, but so far, this is my favorite. Don has got some monster. Uh, look at her average, 185 pretty much to year 160. You better come with it. Uh, Dalvin Cook, questionable. Rob Gronkowski, questionable. Your team sucks. I say Don in a big win, 200-plus. Uh, <laughs> I know that's what she's looking for, and I know she's going to be all – she is so fired up after losing Chubba Hubbard that she oh, yeah. is looking for she's a mad. lot of revenge. She is hoping that Devin Singletary can do much, do more than he's done so far, which is very little. It's well, she be- asked me today, she said, why would they go for that guy? I said, well, somebody might need a running back. Matt's probably going to try to <laughs> use it as trade bait against you. But it's also, it's, I think both those are legitimate reasons, right? Well, it's, it's one of three reasons, right? One is like you said, they need to fill something and then they, and they need somebody to play. That's one. Second one is, second one is trade bait. Hey, if I get this, I can maybe trade it to the person who has CMC. Yeah. Third one, third one is straight up leverage. If I get that, she doesn't have it and she's been winning so I can keep it away from her. And that way she won't at least have one more piece of the puzzle. Well, it's she's all mad. Strategy. She's mad and she's going to take it out of your ass. I know she's weekend. looking to whip me. It's going to be a good game. I cannot wait. We have Tom Brady's return to New England. Have you seen those stupid ads? They're playing Adele's hello. Like he's coming no. back home. And it's, I'm like, you no. stop NBC. I understand it's going to be a big game, but let's not invest everything in it. But I hope he beats New England like a redheaded stepchild and get 50 points to help me in this game. And what I'm most fearing is uh, Dalvin Cook will start, but he'll share a lot of time with Madison. So then it's like, do I go with both? Do I go with one? What am I going to do? Do I leave them both on the bench and go with somebody else? It's going to be... Uh, 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 Sophie's choice of sorts for me. I'm not looking forward. Why to don't that. you trade that guy time. you paid all that money for this week? You got him off the waiver wire. He's running back. <laughs> yeah, Royce Freeman. Yeah, I got to keep him. Just like I'm keeping Jamichael Hasty on my IR, yeah. just in case San Francisco. Uh-huh. Let's go on to the next matchup. All right, <laughs> uh, we've got Lug. Oh, here we go. Is this another rematch? Yes, it is another rematch. Oh uh, man, Greg gets a chance to uh, redeem himself this week against the guy who. Uh, Beat him last week. And actually, if I'm looking at this right, oh, ooh, it's close. Mm-hmm. Uh, they think it's going to be 149 for punishment due over Greg's 141. Saquon Barkley, is he banged up again? He says questionable. Mm, I think he is. I can't remember how he did in the last matchup. I think he scored a touchdown in the last game. I, I'm not 100% sure, but uh, obviously dinged up there going against New Orleans. That'll be an interesting one. James Robinson against Cincinnati. That's going to be a very interesting game because I wonder if it's going to be a shootout or is it going to be some sort of – I can only expect a shootout from that Thursday night game between those two not-so-great teams. Although Cincinnati, the, the, if they win this game, they're, they might be legitimately challenging, especially with that connection from Burrow to Chase. Uh, I think they played together in college. And there was – I'm sure you didn't get this because you didn't pay attention to the early, early stuff. But all throughout camp, Jamar Chase couldn't catch a cold or COVID if he wanted to. Then he gets to day one of the NFL – He's catching everything thrown at him. He is a legit star and uh, an emerging number one wide receiver going forward. Uh, we'll see if Stefan Diggs, who was blanketed last week and didn't get a lot of work because the uh, defense said, we're going to take away Stefan Diggs. You can win with everybody else. And, of course, Josh Allen did that. He won with everybody else. Aaron Rodgers, sorry, he's going to get zero for you. Zero, Greg, zero. We're holding him to zero. We're going to keep that boy down in Pittsburgh. Meanwhile, you got Dak Prescott going against the resurgent Carolina. This should be a good matchup, um, along with Kareem Hunt, who stole all the good carries from uh, uh, Nick Chubb last week going up against the Minnesota Vikings in their house. So that'll be interesting. Next matchup. This one, um, let's see. I'll give this one to Greg. Maybe he gets his first win. <laughs> and and, and uh, a retribution from yes. last week. But Jesus, look at uh, Todd's defense. Panthers I know, right? averaging almost 20. Yeah, good that's insane. Grief. They got a good D, or at least so far, the free few games they've played, they got a good D. 
Okay, we've got on this one, we've got the Braille Bombers. All right, here we go. We got the Braille Bombers going against the Gentleman Four Quarterlies. Terry, hang in there. They expect you to win this week. Uh, oh, gosh, look at her average, 177. Just and losing, right? right? Hasn't won one game. Yeah, that's rough. But they yeah. like you this week, Terry. 159 over Mama's 142. However, she's been averaging closer to 150. I'm taking a look here. These are two teams with no, oh, well, one health issue. Better talk to Mama. Uh, yeah, it T says uh, T. Higgins yeah. out. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's going to definitely be changed up because that's the tomorrow night game. So we got to make sure she changes that up. Yes. How does Russell Wilson do against San Francisco? How does Nick Chubb do? Again, he didn't get the carries last week. Will he this week against Minnesota? That'll be to, to be determined. On the other hand, you got Josh Allen going up against Houston. Poor Houston, that whole Deshaun Watson thing. They had a good week one, and they've looked like crap ever since. He might just roll over them. Although, who knows, maybe it'll be a, a running game more than a passing game for him. Uh, Antonio Gibson against Atlanta, that should be a day for him to feast for sure. We'll see if Terry can come back with Jamar Chase having another big day uh, against the Jags. Of course, I'm pulling for my mom in this one, but hopefully it'll be a good close matchup, and uh, we'll see how it goes from there. Good grief. Look at Terry's wide receiving core. Tariq Hill, Jamar Chase, and Marquez, Marquise Brown. Marquise Brown is overrated, dude. Don't There's like, the, these guys are averaging like 60 as a core. Yeah, okay. All right. Yeah, yeah. The Marquise. They're close good. to it. Yeah. Yes, yes. Okay. All right. Uh -huh. Move on. Well, I think Terry gets her first win. Good luck, Terry. Exactly. And now we've got the flea on Maybe flea. Maybe they change it because that's who they're playing. It's each other. Yeah. Look at that. That's Look, so ridiculous. We have to find out what flea did. Gyrating. Do See, is that a hot dog or is that a corn That's dog? That's a corn dog. Oh, okay. And Talk to a fat guy. You'll know what that is. Yeah, I had a corn dog for lunch. Okay. Yummy. We've got fleas gyrating dong projected <laughs> to get 167 <laughs> with an average score. Good Lord of 201 oh points. That's insane. Oh, my God. No wonder he didn't want to trade me. He's yeah. not going to mess with he this, but you got to come for the Ravens. Right. It could complete your dream team. He's going <laughs> against Please Wood, um, Stock, or Joe's team. Joe, you got a couple question marks with uh, Justin Herbert and DeAndre Swift, although they're still projecting them to play and get decent scores. Yeah, um, look at the average. High scoring guys, affair, yeah. 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 Uh, averaging 170, averaging 200. They don't expect that productivity to continue, but they're still picking Jay, it looks like, at 167 over 155. Yeah, I'm excited about this Baltimore uh, Denver game because Denver's undefeated up till now and ba and Baltimore uh, has has looked okay and they got away with one last week. So they haven't looked like they have in past games, but they have pulled out a few rabbits out of their hat that one against the Raiders in week one. Let's see how they do in Denver against Denver. Maybe they roll over them. Maybe they don't. Maybe Denver's a paper tiger and they're going to take him down. I don't know. How does Alvin Kamara do against the New York Giants? He should do well against the New York Giants. Uh, Terry McLaurin against Atlanta. That should be a big day too. On this side, I know the two questionable people are Swift and, and Herbert, but those guys are both having career years so far. I don't see them slipping off unless something really puts them out. Uh, they should have good days. And then Justin Jefferson against Cleveland. That's a good game too, that Minnesota Cleveland. And those both those teams are doing quietly very well. Let's Look at see Cooper how they Cup's do. Cooper Cup's average. Oh, Cooper Cup's having a good year, grief. man, right? In 32 and a half. He is obviously Maddie Stafford's favorite target for sure. Mike, Mike Williams away. not doing very uh, too poorly either. No, Mike Williams is having a great year. In fact, I would like to see Mike Williams compared against Keenan Allen and see what those two are looking like up to four weeks after That's this wild. four weeks, because Allen used to be the clearing away far runner. Williams get a couple of catches here, but he's leading in a lot of the receptions and he has some of the longer touchdowns too. So that could help out Jason. Um, I don't know who this is going to both the fleas going against each other. I'm hoping Joe, just cause I hate love to see Jason lose, especially after Dallas just rolled on that Monday night game. That was horrible watching him beat down poor Philly, but they've been beat by Philly enough times. So I'm sure, you know, they're yeah. happy to beat them anytime, but it's, it should Long be a good matchup. Coming. And then we'll have to just, we'll have to, un, uh, we'll have to uncover what the flea thing is about after you this. Know, and I, I, wish, on it. I also wish these questionables weren't so conservative because I'd say 80% of the time, 90% of the time they play, yeah, but it right. makes you guess a little bit. I sure, wish they were right? like, yeah. it's kind of a question you mark. You have to kind of watch, especially the ones that are in those late games, right? If the early games, at least you can look before all the games start and it says, Oh, Here's the, here's the report. They're out. They're in. Okay, great. I can go. It's the ones that are in the late games that you're like, oh, crap, I have to look at noon and make sure right. that they're playing or not. And if I forget, I'm totally hosed. Once the game comes, I'm like, oh, I didn't look and see if they were playing or not. Right? So, right, right. 
Yeah, yeah, I, I agree. I think some of that might be gamesmanship from the coach, like, hey, make them think that if they're not going to play or not play, you have to scheme around that. And then yeah. all of a sudden we'll show it on the day of. So, yeah, I get why they do it. But like you said, it's very frustrating to us fantasy GMs for sure. So I think that's the last matchup for this week. Am I correct? Yes. Sweet. All right. So we're going into week four. This is uh, this used to be the turn when we had 16 week, a week seasons. Now we have 17 weeks, but this is still a good bellwether. At the end of four weeks, you kind of see where everybody's standing, both in our team wise and in the NFL wise. You kind of get a feel of which teams are looking good, which teams are looking bad. Most of them played some good teams, some bad teams, and some yet to be determined. So uh, it's been a crazy season so far. This last week saw lots of upsets and lots of crazy endings. I'm sure we'll see more next week. It's going to be interesting. But uh, any other thoughts on us or the NFL, Mr. Heath? Because you watched actually a couple games this week. Did you? I did. Did you want to a bitch again about the get together or just leave it? For no, now? no, no. I'll leave it. I will. I will reach out if it's no one pipes up between now and Sunday. The first thing I'll text before anything on Sunday morning is, "Hey, we haven't talked about this. Who's up for it?" Because you'll get reactions on the text a lot easier than you will hear. People yeah. may see it here and go, "Oh yeah, I'll tell them about that," or "I'll do that," but. I understand life gets busy and they can't always watch these kind of quality programming, but they should make it must see viewing on every Wednesday night, but yeah. be that as it may, or Thursday morning before the game. Um, but yeah, so no, we'll, we'll, we'll find something to do and get together and do something, especially if Terry's bionic hand is finally healed up and she can, you know, dish up some nachos or throw a napkin here or there. Okay. Well, right, hopefully man. that works out. You guys get together. That'd be fun. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So um, now the Heath household, they're getting ready for October. And uh, do we know what the ghouls and goblins are going to be in your house? I can tell you what Nate wants to be after you. Uh, yeah, Mike already got his costume. He's some Naruto anime character. I don't know. The only uh, Naruto I've seen is on. And uh, Emma. I'm not supposed to be on. What's Naruto? I'm thinking of Nuru. It's anime. Oh, okay. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, is. yeah. Okay. It's like some ninja is it that training. sexy, weird Japanese thing? anime? Not the no no you're thinking okay. of a uh, hentai no ah okay, okay. with the uh, tentacles no yeah this is just like regular <laughs> regular cartoon I want to see Michael with some tentacles <laughs> and then uh, I think Emma's going as Taylor Swift but oh. from a specific video her and her oh, friend are cool. both doing it oh, so fine. she might do you know uh, you belong to me or whatever the hell yeah, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. I know and, that one where there's like so they're each gonna pick a the, video yeah. and go as that Taylor oh that's cool I like yeah. that that's that's kind of a cool thing to do I I, yeah. I dig when friends do that that makes it fun yeah so yeah. Nathan has declared he is going as Donkey Kong this year so I can't wait to see what kind of outfit he's gonna get for Donkey Kong okay. all I know is I'm gonna throw a barrel at him the minute he steps out of the house and see if he can <laughs> see, see what he does with it right yeah, you should be Donkey Kong. You wouldn't have to wear anything. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> All right, Kev, take us home. All right, stay classy, Bone Storm. Set your lineup. Wait, no, I, wait, you need to stop sharing. We can't end like that. Oh, wait, oh, there's my on. recording. Okay, go ahead. Now, now, okay, now, there, now I'm ready. So now take us home. <laughs> stay classy. Well, first set your lineup and then stay classy, Bone Storm. Yeet. <laughs>